Our Meet the Mayor segments are back and we're kicking things off with the re-elected mayor of Burlington, Marianne Mead Ward. Congratulations. I haven't seen you in person since then, so. It's been a long time. It has. My first time in the studio in a couple of years anyways, and it's a Very beautiful good. new space. Good <laughs> to have you here. Now, this is a, Burlington is a unique municipality in Ontario because every single councillor and the mayor Everybody was re-elected. Absolutely, we're all back. And I think that shows that the community has been really happy with what we've done together as a team over the last four years. So is there unfinished business from your last term that you want to get started on right away? There's a lot of unfinished business. So we really laid the foundation for a number of major initiatives. Our climate action plan, we need to implement our housing strategy. We need to implement, we need more community centers and parks because we have a growing community. Of course, development uh, is always a big issue. And with all of the changes happening at the provincial level with Bill 23, uh, that is an ongoing area of concern for us that we'll need to address. And even something like uh, free transit for high school students. We were talking about that before COVID hit and then nobody was at school. And so we're going to pick those conversations up again for sure. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned development. I think most people think of downtown Burlington or, or, or think of, you know, some of the major intersections. But Burlington has such a huge agricultural sector to it as well. We do. We're half rural and we have made a firm commitment, this council and previous councils, that we are not going to expand our urban boundary. We want to protect that agricultural land. It feeds us and it's an active, thriving uh, agricultural economy. So, uh, so we are protecting that. We're looking at ways that we can enhance and support our farmers in Burlington. So that's at one end of the city, but then at the other, you've got the waterfront development and, and you've been very vocal in, in, you know, kind of laying out and planning what kind of development goes there so that it's not overdeveloped, so that everybody can see the waterfront. And that was the big issue in 2018. And so much of our term, uh, last term, was focused on resetting the downtown plan. Uh, working with the province to move the major transit station area and the urban growth center to the GO station. That has never been done in the province before. We were told it could never have been done, but those two designations were relied upon by applicants to justify overdevelopment. So now that we've shifted that to the GO stations, that's in line with provincial policy. We want people near higher order transit because if you don't put them there, you're gonna have traffic chaos. So we're gonna build complete communities around each of our three GO stations. Okay, and, and you mentioned the rec centers too because people need that as well. Absolutely. They need grocery stores. They need, you know, because otherwise you're driving and that just adds to the traffic. Well, and that's the biggest concern. One of the biggest concerns municipalities have with Bill 23 is that it's going to reduce our ability to collect development charges, which pays for these things, pays for community centers, pays for transit, pays for our ability to uh, buy new parks because we can't just build housing uh, and expect everybody to use the same facilities when you have, in our case, 70,000 people moving in uh, to 2051. And so we, uh, we have said to the province, don't bankrupt us. Don't make uh, all of the taxpayers uh, bear this burden. And there's no guarantee that any affordability with cutting DCs would be passed on to the buyer. So uh, let, let's go back to the drawing board on Bill 23. Let us collect the funds we need to build complete communities in our city. Do you think that's gonna happen? You know what, the, the province has shown that they uh, are willing to listen to reason and back down. We've seen it before and we hope that uh, enough, this is universal. Uh, Association of Municipalities of Ontario, Ontario Big City Mayors, Halton Regional Council, Burlington Council, many of my fellow mayors have written their own letters to the province. I've met with our two uh, MPPs in Burlington to say, look, this unintended perhaps, but don't go down this path. Work with us, don't bankrupt us. Okay, good luck on your new term and congratulations again. Marianne Mead Ward, Mayor of Burlington.